Hello friends, this video sequence and series part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched video part 1 to part 5. Examples of some of terms. So we are told to find the terms of AP. We are told to find the term, sum of terms of this sequence but we are not told whether it is AP or GP. So first we need to find whether it is AP or not. So the sequence is 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. 10. The difference between 2 and 4 is 2, 4 and 2, 6 is 2, 6, 7 is 1, 7, 8 is 1, 8 and 10 is 2. You see the difference is not constant. Here it is 1, here it is 2. That means it is not an AP. Since it is not an AP and we have not learned anything else, so till not now, as of now, we can't solve this question because it is not an AP. So we can't solve because we know the formula only for AP till now. Here, the sequence is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Again, let's write 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. The difference is 2. Here, the difference is 2. 2, 8, 10, 2, 10, 12, 2. You see the difference is constant. That is 2 in all the cases. So, it is AP. Now, we can use the formula Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2 of a plus n minus 1 into D. To use this formula, we should know n, we should know a, we should d. d. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 elements, so n is equal to 6. The first element is 2, so a is equal to 2. The difference of element is 2, so d is equal to 2. So, when to find the formula, we just replace these values. n is equal to 6 here, so we can write as 6 is equal to 6 by 2 into 2 of a is 2 plus n minus 1 that is 6 minus 1 into d is 2. So this becomes 3 into 4 plus 5 into 2 is 10. So this becomes 14 into 3 that is 4 into 3 is 40, 52 and that is the answer. Here the question says the sum of n terms of 2 AP, they are 2 AP actually, AP1 and AP2, they are 2 AP. Sum of n terms of this are in ratio 3n plus 8 by 7n plus 15. We have to find the ratio of the 12th term. That means the question says S1n because they are, this is the first AP by S2n second AP is 3n plus 8 by 7n plus 15. This is the question says and what we have to find? We have to find t1 12 by t2 12. Correct? This we have to find because they are two different AP. This is equal to what we have to find. So if you write this equation here s1n we can also say this is nothing but n by 2 into 2a1 plus n minus 1 d1. This is s1. s2 we can say s2n is again n by 2 into 2a2 plus n minus 1 d2. This ratio is they are saying is 3n plus 8 by 7n plus 25. This is what question says. We can cancel n by 2 n by 2. So what we get here is, I'll write here, 2a1 plus n minus 1 d1 by 2a2 plus n minus 1 d2 is equal to 3n plus 8 by 7n plus 25. This is our equation 1. Now what we have to find is t1 12 by t2 12. Correct? Right? So this becomes a1 plus 12 minus 1 d by d1 by a2 plus 12 minus 1 d2. Because tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. You know this formula. 
Now this becomes a1 plus 11 d1 by a2 plus 11 d2. This is our second equation. So if we observe these two equations properly, a1 here, d1 here, a2, d2. So if we put the value of n is equal to 23, then this becomes 23 minus 1, 22. And this is 11. So first let's convert this into 2a1 form. So also we will, will multiply 2, both numerator and denominator. So what we get, we we'll write here actually, 2a1 plus 22d1 by 2a2 plus 22d2. So this is what we have got. Now we see if we compare these two equations, if you can say, you can say n minus 1 is equal to 22, if you can say n minus 1 If you can say n minus 1 is equal to 22 because this is n minus 1, this is 22, this is n minus 1 is 22, we can get the answer. Or we can say n is equal to 23. Put this side, this becomes 23. If you put n is equal to 23, we get the answer. So in this equation, if you put n is equal to 23, what we get is I am taking this equation now. So I am taking this equation here. So what I get 2a1 plus 23 minus 122d1 by 2a2 plus 23 minus 122 d2 this becomes 3 into 23 that is n is 23 plus 8 by 7 into 23 plus 25 this is what we get and if you solve this this becomes 3 into 23 is 69 plus 8 7 into 23 is so in 21, 140, 161 plus 25. We solve this, this becomes 77 and this becomes 6. This becomes 6 plus 2. This is this is 15, sorry. This is 15 here. This is 15. So 161 plus 15, you get 176. And now you divide by 11. So this becomes 7. This becomes 1 and 6. So what you get is 7 by 16. That is the answer. So what we have done? We have just used the formula of Sn and we got this ratio. And then we have used the formula of Tn, we got this ratio. And then we observe that if you put n minus 1 is equal to 22, it is n is equal to 23, we will get the answer. So we have put n is equal to 23 to get the ratio. Let's take for example in AP. It says income of a person is 2 lakh in the first year and he receives an increase of 10k per year for the next 19 years. And we want to find the total income, his total amount he received in 20 years and also his salary after 20 years. So let's assume this 2 lakh is equal to 200k just to make my life simple and 10,000 is 10k. So we see the income or we'll see the year here, I said year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, dot, 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 dot. This is 19, this is 20. This is the year. And now let me see this income. The income in first year is 200k. Second year is 200k plus 10k. This year is 200k plus 20. This year is 200k plus 30k. In fifth year, he gets 200k plus 40k. Similarly, keep increasing 19th year he get 200k plus 18k and in 20th year he get 200k plus 19k. That is a pattern because it says that every year his income is increasing. So we will get this pattern. So we can say that any year Tn is nothing but 200k plus n minus 1 into 10k. So that is 
is salary in a given year. Now, find the salary after 20 years. Very simple. We just put n is equal to 20. So T20 is nothing but 200k plus 20 minus 1 is 90 into 10k. That is 200k plus 190k. That is 390k. And that is nothing but 390000. That is 3 lakh 90,000. That is the salary after 20 years. Now, similarly, if we have to find the total amount which he has earned in the past 20 years, we have to find S20. Correct? So, S of N we know is N by 2. 2a plus n minus 1d. So s of 20 will become 20 by 2 into 2 a is the initial salary that is 200k plus n minus 1 n is 20 this is 19 20 minus 190 into d d is increment every year that is 10k. So this right here or s of 20 is equal to 10 into 400k plus 190k that is or equal to 10 into 590k this becomes 5900k and kl right right replaced by three thousands three zeros so that is 59 lakh is the total salary which he has earned in the past 20 years. Correct? So what we have done? We know the value of A that is 200k. We know the value of D that is 10k. So we found T20 that is 3.9 lakhs and S20 that is 59 lakhs. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors